Hi, my name is Francois Normandin, and this is a tutorial about uh, test reports with Karaya. Starting in version 0.6 of Karaya, you can now create your own test report classes, and, which override the basic test report and uh, customize it to, to fit your needs. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show um, how we can create a JSON, very simple JSON report uh, from a series of tests. So this demo assumes that you are already familiar with uh, Karaya. If you are not, well, Karaya can be... Karaya is part of the JGI Toolkits palettes, and uh, you can uh, define tests and use assertions, which uh, show up as a polymorphic VI in this, um, in this version. And, um, and you can go on, uh, on the GitHub uh, page for Karaya if you want to know a little bit more about that. So first off, I invite you to open your JKI VI package manager and search for Karaya to install the latest version. So I've got the 0.6 version installed in LabVIEW 2014, so it's um, available for LabVIEW 2013 and uh, and more recent. Uh, so it's going to work all the way to 2018, no problem. All right, so um, what I've got right now is a project where I've created two test nodes already. So my two test nodes are running in parallel and I've got also a um, defined test um, um, test suite that I'm going to create here. The test suite will have one assertion. Let's create our test suite. So this here would just create our, if I run it, I get uh, all my VIs, all my tests that pass, um, and we're going to see how we can uh, we can customize this um, so that it can be saved directly to a file. So right now, from the UI, you can already export uh, using a simple text report. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So on uh, my Karaya demo, I'm going to go to unit test and open the report. So the report just uh, just mimics the hierarchical uh, tree view that you have. So my suite report is at the top level and you see um, um, my first uh, test suite test where my path has been defined correctly. And then the two sub VIs, which include a few assertions. All right, so same thing for JUnit compatible XML report, which I won't show because, well, you can test that for yourself. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see how we can, uh, instead of using the UI, um, just have a test report class that saves that directly to a file and doesn't show the interactive UI because if you're using a build server um, and you want to run automated tests, uh, that's going to be in your way. You don't want to have anything interactive. So first off, uh, we're going to create a test suite. All right, so test suite under the Karaya palette. You can open the test suite palette and we're going to define a test suite and destroy it at the end. All right, I'm going to move those comments around and just finish wiring these. All right, I've already created my test suite name so that we don't have to wait for that. So the test suite is a class. I wired class terminals and I want the suite to be destroyed at the end. So right there. All right, so up front, what we can see is that we have by default a, well, default test suite. So the default test suite is um, just the interactive one. If we run it with interactive equals true, so that pops up the UI and then manually you can export the results if you want. Now that allows you to quickly go and see, you know, particular assertions by double clicking on it, which might be very useful for when you write your, your test before you save them to a database or to a, a specific file or, you know, include that in your, in your um, build server process. Now, interactive false is the first step because, well, when I run it, I don't want the UI to pop up when it's just being written to, to a file or directly to a database. Now, starting in um, Karaya 0.6 and up, you're going to notice that 
There is also an advanced reporting palette under the test suite, and that allows you to retrieve the test results. And uh, from those test results, you can list each of the nodes. And by node, what we mean is that every time that you register a test, you define a test with the define test primitive, that's going to create a new node. And any assertions that are uh, within that, uh, that same uh, block diagram are going to be part of the um, um, part of that test node. So you can get the node results. And I'm going to just show the menu there. So you see that for each node, you can get the test nodes, uh, test node cluster and an array of assertions. So the test node cluster will tell you things about, you know, the name of the test and um, the call chain and also if it passed, if all the tests that were included on that block diagram and subsequent, you know, in the in the same hierarchy, have passed. The assertion is the same thing, except it's going to be just a test result for a single assertions. All right. So we won't need that advanced report uh, unless you start from scratch writing your own test report class. But because we're going to use the tool, the utility that is provided with Karaya, we won't be using that. We're going to start up with a template. So um, before we start, I'd like to show you this, which is the defined test suite. So the default one, um, as you can see, there's a test report class that you can inject. This is what we're going to create in this demo. Um, and before we continue, we can also, you know, uh, it's a polymorphic VI, so you can explore what it means to be a single text report test suite. So by the way, I'm going to just change that to text for now and put that into the report path. And what we're going to see is that we have now created a text file, which is exactly what our interactive UI had given us. All right. So these are not useful. I'm going to delete them. And we're going to go back to our default test suite where we can inject a test report. OK, now we're going to go into tools menu under Karaya create a test report from template. Now, because we are already in the project, we have our project added to that list, and I'm going to create a JSON report. Create test report class button, pressed, and if you look in your project, there we go. Our JSON report class has been created from the template. We can now close the utility, and let's explore what we have in store okay create report from template now first thing you should probably rename that to whatever you have right so json report here and i'm going to drop that on my block diagram what you can see is that we need a report path there we go and we can inject that into our test report terminal on the test suite and that's a, all that we need well all that we need if we want to preserve the text file the text version but we want a JSON text version so I'm going to change that to JSON and uh, we're going to have to override a couple of methods now the template already provides you the is reporting node and the export node is reporting essentially is how the framework will know that um, you are exporting a file and it if we investigate a little bit what it looks like it's a bunch of uh, checks to make sure that we have you know a proper report path uh, set so here you would override and create your conditions to uh, specify whether the framework should export your test results or not okay so, for example, um, if you're in a build server, you might want to make sure that if you're not exporting, that it would throw an error or at least something that your your uh, build server can recognize as, you know, a failure to, to export the file. Now here, because we are exporting with a proper, a proper text file, uh, file path, uh, we will skip that, that uh, 
that step and go straight to export. Export VI comes already preloaded with, you recognize the advanced reporting nodes. So from the test report, we get the test results. And from test results, we can list the nodes or get the, the particular of, of every, every node. So I'm going to close this. And we're going to modify this VI here to suit our needs. So this one um, just creates a text file. And it's a copy of the, uh, the simple text file that, we, that we've shown. So OK, I'm going to run this just to show that it works already, right? We have non-interactive, which means that if we don't provide any, uh, any class, it shouldn't do anything. It doesn't write anything in here. But if we do provide it and run it again, then we have our JSON file being created. Now, obviously, our JSON file has not been modified, so we still write something of a text file, which is not what we want. Therefore, let's go back to our export VI. And this is where we're going to modify it so that here we have a JSON string. So you can construct it by yourself, right? Or you can use your favorite JSON you know, flattening method. I'm going to use here the JKI JSON, which you can get from, uh, from VI Package Manager, right? But feel free to use whichever you want. And I'm going to export just a JSON string from anything now. The anything is what we're going to build right now. And to do that, what I'd like to have is all right, I'm going to delete a few things that we don't need. All right, so I'm going to get some test nodes. And from these test nodes, I'm going to get a cluster of my assertions, each assertions instead of a string. So where do these uh, VI come from? They are in a private method. So you have a test to report entry. That was the one that I deleted here because my test node is already a cluster, so I don't need to format that to a string. I will just reuse the cluster elements themselves. So let me expand that a little bit. And uh, if I want to unbundle by name, so our test node has a test registration name. And why not say if it passed or not? And then for each assertions, it's an array of assertions that I'm going to find. I'm going to want to, you know, modify that VI here so that we can report a, a cluster because we take anything here. It's going to be nice to have a, an array of clusters for each assertion and put that under our test node name right there. So what we have right now is a VI that modifies, you know, that, that extracts data from the assertion uh, cluster and puts that into a string. We don't want a string. We mentioned that we want to have just a cluster. So I'm going to do that with my own format. And instead of an error, I want to say that the test was skipped because there was an, in, an error at the input. So Let's build our cluster first the name, second, let's say the timestamp. I am going to ignore the call, the call chain here and I'm going to add the string result. Now, I'm going to create a constant, make that a type def, open it and name it. So this is what? This is an assertion. Whoops. And I want to make sure that there are labels for everything. So there you go. Timestamp, name, and result. And these are my asser assertion cluster. Now I just need to change this string to whatever I've created. make sure that it's wired to the terminal. 
which it is, and I'm going to use that as the output here. So you see what I've got is a test node, which I extract the name, and if all the assertions under it, underneath have passed, and then the list of all the assertions that I will format. That, in turn, I can create another cluster, and that cluster is going to go to my variant, my variant input, which will flatten to JSON string. Again, I'm going to create a node here, make type def, and that's going to be, whoops, Instead of a cluster, I'm going to call that a test, and that test is going to be a test name, say as it passed, and add all my assertions. I just named that very funny. Sorry for the typo here. And probably I'm done. So I'd like to just put that inside the class as a class member. And what you're going to see here is that we will have for each node extract the test node and the assertions, create a cluster, send that to a JSON flattening method, and save that to report path. All right, I'm going to sit here. I think I'm done. I can run this VI. And I got my JSON report all packaged, like, like we expect, an array containing a couple of nodes, three nodes, the first being a suite report, this one here, and the two others being my first and second test. So the order here is, you know, depends on the order in which these VIs will be will be run. So don't worry if they're upside down. That's no big deal. So we see that everything passes right now. And if I were to go into one of them and make sure that I create an error, now my suite doesn't pass because my second test passes, but my first test doesn't pass. And that concludes my demonstration of how to create your own JSON test reports. All right, if you'd like to know more about it, um, you can definitely uh, visit the GitHub Karaya page, which is at github.com slash JTI software dash Karaya. And in there, you can um, explore the code, contribute to it, see the latest release, uh, maybe monitor some issues, um, create new ones. If you have feature requests, if you notice any bugs, uh, don't hesitate, just create a new issue here and uh, engage the community. That's going to be a great way to, uh, to make this uh, unit test framework, uh, this assertion-based unit test framework even greater.